<laughs> Haiti's most powerful gang leader says the prime minister must resign peacefully or armed militants will remove him. Jimmy Cherize, known throughout Haiti by his nickname, Barbecue, made his threat in a letter to the U.S. ambassador asking for American support. Cherize leads a group of gangs known as the G9. He read the letter to reporters at a news conference surrounded by armed men. At the cost of blood, we are going to dislodge Mr. Ariel Henry from the prime minister's office. And afterward, the key to the country will be handed over to a new classes of men and women of civil society who will have to govern responsibly to get the country out of the gregmire in which it has been stuck for many ages. Although Cherizé is one of Haiti's most wanted men, the country's outgunned police force made no effort to intervene. The man known as Barbecue might be the head of nine gangs, but he says he isn't a gangster, he's not a politician, he is the leader of a political movement that has launched a revolution here in the streets of the Western Hemisphere's poorest country. We asked the Prime Minister's office for a response and they told Al Jazeera, Prime Minister Ariel Henry doesn't deal with gangs. Cherize says Haiti is dominated by an elite 5% that he calls the real gangsters. He says he wants to turn Haiti into a U.S.-style liberal democracy. Far from terrorizing the populations, we are fighting to get Haiti out of the yoke of a systematic poverty founded on the basis of a plot between traditional politicians and this corrupt, rotten, pervaded bourgeoisie. More than 200 Haitians deported from the U.S. and Cuba returned on Wednesday to a capital in crisis. My life was in danger, so I fled. Now they sent me back. I ran from hell, and now I am back. If anything, Haiti's condition has worsened. Its economy crippled by a fuel shortage, its streets ruled by gangs, its government under threat. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince.